that's a heck of a camper there. It looks like kind of like a army truck that's gonna go with the Mad Max route, pulling a camper. Full throttle. Here's our little campsite, about 6.30 in the morning. There's a sign here with the history of this little pond. It's actually a little reservoir. It says, Modoc National Forest, Warner Mountain Ranger District, 1989. Stowe Reservoir Dam Reconstruction Project. This dam was reconstructed in partnership with Modoc County Fish Game and Recreation Commission, North Calneva Resource Conservation Development. Organized Sportsman of Modoc County. Nice little lake. There's a hole in the rock up there. See it? It's like a keyhole right in the center there. And 
then this rock looks like it's balancing. Let's see if I can get it right there. That one. We'll walk down to the lake from our campsite. It's not too far. It's early in the morning. There's only seven spots at this campsite here. And uh, it's really quiet. This is the busiest day of the year. And there's only ourselves and another couple that were camping up here. They since left, so it's just us this morning. It's a nice little camping spot here. There's the lake. This is our little campsite here, and. Kelly's being a real trooper and she's already breaking camp and really getting things done. And we're just heading out from the campground. We noticed there was a car that boondocked down the way a little bit here. Probably came off the road last night. Pretty morning. Well, we're driving out of our campground and the Warner Mountains. This is a 6% grade on this Highway 299. It's not too bad. It's a good road. The best thing about this part of California is there's no traffic because it's so remote. There's a few cars and trucks every now and then, of course, but you can see how light the traffic is compared to Lake Tahoe and the Reno area. We haven't seen a single vehicle this morning yet. Here we're just passing through Cedarville, California, and uh, we're gonna be heading south on Highway 1, tying into 447 at the Nevada State Line. Some nice little homes in here. A lot of trees. It's not fancy. Cute little town. Oh yeah. Nice wide Main Street. So Kelly, what did you think of Cedarville, California? It's the downtown. Very cute. I like it. Cute little place, right? A lot of nice little gardens. People had their homes kind of fixed up and not fancy or pretentious, but but nice and quiet. Cute. We were saying if we were if we were to live in California, we'd we'd be happy living here. It's kind of our our style of a place. So those are the Warner Mountains right there, and they run north-south, so we're just on the east side of them here. Really nice uh, area in here, a lot of uh, ranching, farming. That looks like Timothy Hay in that first field.
community. All these places are right next to these gorgeous mountains there. This is Eagleville, California. Looks like a very quiet little farming community. That's the post office. General store. Okay, here's the Nevada state line. We're crossing in from California back into Nevada, from Lassen County, Nevada into uh, Washoe County. Well, we're heading in towards the Black Rock Desert, coming in from the north. And a lot of people may not know this, but there's, there's more going on there than just Burning Man, and there has been for a long time. And uh, there's actually a Black Rock that's there and they've been these uh, tested a lot of uh, scientific experiments for vehicles and so forth there. And there's a lot more to see than just that. And it's just a beautiful, uh, isolated, scenic area uh, of Nevada. Well, we're back in Nevada, and we're actually in Washoe County, Nevada. Washoe County is the same county that Reno is located in, and it goes all the way up to the Oregon border, and it skirts the California border on the western side but you can see almost as soon as we cross into Nevada it's starting to be sagebrush and open spaces again but it is interesting in here and we're enjoying our trip we got some cattle moving along the road here matter of fact I might want to yeah right there is a cowboy over there We're fine. I kind of watch them.
private lake and it's just north of the Black Rock Desert area but it's a private lake and the sign said basically there's rules here and as long as you behave you're not going to basically get kicked out so it's nice that somebody has a private property and lets the public come here there's a family over here not too far away fishing they got their dogs and enjoying the day and uh, there's bullfrogs in here and fish and we could go swimming here if we want it's like a little bit of a pond you know pond water it's not super clean but it's not dirty either so just kind of nice and look there's a white pelican across the lake a little bit well this is really nice to see a family out here just having a good time they have their dog out there swimming around and everybody's having a good time being able to Enjoy this pond out here in the desert. these big mountains here I have a suspicion that they're like a rain shadow we were talking about probably the storms coming in from the west dump their moisture on those mountains there you can see there's trees and it's quite green but I think right on the other side of that basically is the Black Rock Desert and that's very close just south of where they have the Burning Man event so I think on the other side of that it's a desert you can see where the landscape is changing it's going from this rangeland into like a barren playa down there and uh, 
we're north of Gerlach right now, so that's to be expected. Here we're coming into Gerlach from the north. Gerlach, elevation 3,942. The center of the universe, it said. I didn't know Gerlach was the center of the universe. I didn't either. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Yeah. It's not what is expecting to be the center of the universe. <laughs> I was expecting so much more, or so much less. This is like downtown for sure. We got bike commuter parking. I have a feeling this town really thrives on the Burning Man crowd coming through here. you're saying that this playa has a long history of kind of like the salt flats in Utah of uh, testing out vehicles and so forth. Who was the guy who used to test those vehicles out? I think. I don't know if it was Steve Fawcett. Oh, Steve Fawcett. on the Black Rock Desert Playa and he looks like he's going full throttle. geyser we're gonna head on down into it there's the fly geyser in the distance there's the black rock we're heading south of Gerlock the Reno area. Actually heading towards Nixon, Nevada. Almost looks like a big Tuffa Tower. And uh, I think this might have been part of the ancient Lake Mahon at one time, so it might have been underwater at one time.
through Nixon, Nevada on the Pyramid Lake Indian Reservation. There's still standing water out here, just south of Fallon. Sure has lasted a long time. It's even kind of looking a little muddy. So Kelly, did you enjoy our trip going all the way to the Oregon border? Yes, I did. Thanks for joining us, everybody.